In this video, I'm going to be showing the uh, the knot I use and how I spool a new spinning reel or casting reel. Doesn't matter, but uh, I'll be putting I'll be using this new Okuma Avenger AV2500 reel that I just got for for trout fishing, and I'm going to spool it with a 20 pound test uh, Power Pro. So first, what I do is, and then. I have found it the easiest way for me to get a really tight wind around the spool is first I'll, I'll take the, the line and I have a, a cutoff rod here that I specifically just use for this. I'll take that line and I'll run it through the first die here and it's going to allow me to uh, uh, wind the line onto the spool once I've tied the knot on. And next, I'll go ahead and remove the spool from the reel. Okay, set that aside for now. And now, this is act it's a really easy knot to do. Um, and so you just take your take your line, make a big loop. So I just I just take it here and just wrap it around, make a big loop. You can see how big this loop is. And then you take your tag in and simply make another loop on top of the big loop. So you just take it like this and wrap it under and make a loop, okay? So you have your small loop here inside your big loop. Take your tag. I take my fingers inside the small loop first and hold the both lines over here. And then take your tag in and I wrap it under both those lines four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Oops, five. Then you simply take that line, that tag end line, and pull it tight. There we go, nice and tight. And then I take my reel, or my, my spool rather, with that big loop. So you have your main line here, then you have your big loop. Take it where that knot is and put it on top of the spool. And now, simply make sure that that tag ends out of there. And I'll wrap it around once, twice. Okay, hold that down. Then I'll take the other side of that loop and wrap it once, twice. Make sure it wraps around. Okay. Then just tighten. And there you have it, nice and snug, not on your spool, ain't going anywhere, perfect, okay, so then just take your cutters, cut that line, and you're done, let's go ahead and do it one more time, okay, so again, Get, get plenty of line, make a big loop, okay, so you got your big loop here, take your tag in, right here, wrap a loop into that one, so now you got your, you got your big loop, you got your small loop, then you hold those two Lines up at the, to the, two, the tops of those two loops together up top. Take your tag in and wrap it around you know, four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now just tighten that.
Okay. Doesn't need to be super tight right now. Then you take your spool. Okay. Make sure it's not twisted on the main line. Okay. Now you take one side of that loop, wrap it once, wrap it twice, however many times you want. I, I make the loop big enough so I could wrap it twice going this way and twice going that way, usually. Okay, now take the other side, wrap it. Okay, so this one's not going to make it a full two, so that's fine. Now you just take your main line, and you're going to pull it till it's snug. There you have it. It's not going anywhere. Again, go ahead and take your clips or your, your cutters. Cut that tagline. Doesn't have to be super close to the knot. Okay, now done. So you've got your knot, super tight knot. So now what we do is you take your reel and make sure that the bale is open. Put the spool on. Take your drag knob, put that on. Make sure that's fairly tight. Close the bale. Now we're ready to put the line on. Okay, so when I go to spool it, the one thing that makes it a little difficult that I ha I figured out that I have to remove is on most of these Power Pro uh, spools, there's a like security plastic plastic security tab down here on it, and I take this off. And again, this is just for me. You may have you may come up with a different way of doing this, but for me, that part makes it very difficult for how I use this and how I spool it. Okay, now that that's taken off, now I just take a, a big screwdriver and I put it into a vise. I slide that spool all the way up and tighten that. You don't want it too tight. You want it to be able to rotate, but you don't want it loose, like super loose. So you have to find a mid, mid there. A little tighter, maybe. A little bit tighter. Okay. And now, I'll go ahead and secure this reel to this rod, again, that I specifically only use for spool and reels. Okay, that's all set. And now, I put my fingers on it like this, get this tight. Make sure that I'm not tangled on anything, which I am. Okay. And get this, in front of this rod, right up to this spool. You gotta use your fingers to add some tension to it. And then I just reel away. Until that spool is full. Very simple. Okay, as you can see, we're pretty much pretty much at max capacity for this reel. So then what I do is I just come over here, take my cutters, cut that line off. Done. 
reel that slack in and I'm done go ahead and take this off the rod okay and now that that's all done and until I'm ready to use this I, I go ahead and just take a piece of tape tape it onto the spool tip or tape that tag into the spool And it's ready to go fishing. Thanks again for watching. Hope you learned something. Now go get some. You.